Hello my tarot friends, Justin Michael, welcome back to my channel, and of course welcome if it's your first time visiting, I appreciate you stopping by as always. I want to show you a couple of decks that I just got in my collection, and surprise, they're not Tarot de Marseille decks, they're actually in the Rider Waite Smith style, uh, which is uh, something I haven't shown in a while, but I wanted to change it up, have a little bit of fun, and uh, just kind of show you uh, some decks I just got. So, this first one I'm going to show you is called the Classic Tarot. And it's actually something I got from a bookstore in Delaware called Second and Charles, the store. I've never seen this deck anywhere else. I've never even heard of it. But it was literally $8. And you can see uh, the price on there says $7.97 Sweetwater Press. Now, when I picked this up at the, the store, first off, let me just tell you. So at the store, they have this huge display of uh, tarot decks. And it's all mass market stuff. And it's a really big selection. I don't like going over there as much as I used to um, because a lot of the decks are very cliche and it's kind of like just overkill for me. But uh, So I, I really don't like the decks that are coming out lately. Um, but it's kind of like a car wreck in that you know I have to go over there and check the place out anyway just to see what's going on. Because there's usually something there that I like, like maybe one deck. And there was a sign there that said tarot decks for $8. And I was like, well, you know, $8 tarot deck, really? And it's very rare in that place because usually they charge top dollar. Um, and then I picked this up and I saw it. And I couldn't see these all three of these cards because it had like an anti-theft sticker on here. So all I could see was the sun, which was an image that I was actually familiar with. I've seen that image somewhere else before and I couldn't remember where. But so anyway, Sweetwater Press is the uh, company. It's printed, of course, in China. And... Um, so I thought, well, for $8, I'm going to get it, and I'm going to take a peek at it and see if I like it. And um, actually, I was pretty surprised how much I liked it. Um, the cardstock is very uh, similar to the Liz Dean Golden Tarot, you know, something like that. Like Liz Dean decks you, you get in the box sets. It has that kind of thin but very glossy kind of cardstock. It's like that, but it's not terrible. I've actually paid way more for decks with crappier cardstock than this. Uh, so for $8, I'm really not complaining. Uh, and they feel pretty good. Like they shuffle okay. And um, I like the backs. And what I really liked about this deck was that it's, you know, I found the name very adequate for it, Classic Tarot, because it very much reminds me of, like, the art style of the Rider Waite Smith. And I think this is what they were shooting for. Like, if you look at the image, it's it has, like, a very block printed or old school kind of um, look to it. You know what I mean? You can see, like, the shadow lines, and it just looks like it was. Uh, printed in an old-fashioned way, and I kind of like that about it, you know. And of course, in 1910, 1909, when the Rider deck was being uh, published and, and sold for the first time, it probably sold for a nickel, you know. It was a very simple deck, and if you think about it, like if you like didn't know what you know about the Rider Wade Smith, and it was in a store today, and you walked in and you just never seen the, the deck before, you know, when you walk in and you see this deck, you're gonna think, well, wow, that's a very simple looking deck you know compared to what we see today with all these fancy decks and you know really um intricate artwork you know but the rider deck is a classic because of you know it, the history of it and it was the first modern deck but initially it was a very simple deck it was sold probably for a nickel you know and then a few bucks for most of its existence and now of course uh in 2021 it's not unheard of to pay you know $80 for a deck somewhere, $60 something dollars uh, for a rendition of the Rider Waite Smith, which is, you know, it's a little crazy, but people do it, you know. But I actually was very surprised by this deck. I really liked it. I really like the blue in it. Uh, I like the font. It kind of reminds me of the Rider deck a little bit, you know. Uh, this reminded me a little bit of Oswald Worth. Uh, and I feel like maybe that's what they did. They probably took, you know, some of the most popular tarot decks, uh, mostly based it on the Rider deck, but they probably borrowed from, like, the Golden Dawn tarot because there's some images in here that remind me of the Golden Dawn tarot, too. Uh, and the uh, Boda deck as well. But uh, it's very simple. It's very basic, you know. It's very, very... I mean, I could easily do a reading with this, no problem, you know. I like the Lover's card. All the cards are blue, like I said, except for one. Uh, and I'm going to point that out when we get there. 
I really like this hermit. You know, there's a hole in the wall. He's somebody's punched a hole in the wall, and, and the, the hermit's sort of retreating, literally like in in his cave or in a hole in the wall, basically. Uh, which is kind of cool, you know. Be interesting in the reading. So this is the image that kind of reminded me of the um, Golden Dawn. I really feel like I've seen this deck before. If anybody has knows about this deck, please leave your comments below because I'm very curious. I couldn't find anything online, but I do definitely... I'm getting some kind of deja vu with these images. I've seen them before. Particularly the sun. I've definitely seen the sun before. But it's just very familiar to me. So there's the devil, and that's the only card with the brown background. You know, the rest of the cards are have this blue, which I really like actually. You know, has a very blue kind of feel to it. Yeah, I don't know if this is an image on Canva or somewhere, but I definitely have seen this image before of the sun somewhere online judgment and the world okay so now with the miners it's very very pipish i would say this is a like a semi pip ish deck you know um, but it has a lot of rider weight smith symbolism but in a very minimalist way and you're going to see what i mean by that in just a second here so i mean like the five of wands you have that conflict you know with the wands but you don't have the the uh, individuals you know the, the the figures in there um, in the images and that's very typical all throughout the deck you're going to see the eight of wands is very close to the rider deck you know, that's something that you see in Rider Waite Smith. Court cards are really cute. I like them. I thought they were really, you know, for a deck of this price, I was really happy with it. I mean, simple art style, but I've seen way worse. I mean, definitely seen worse arts, art than, than this. And I think that if you're a Rider Waite Smith fan, you might actually like this deck. Because it is like a bit of a tribute to that system for instance the alchemical lion you have the caduceus you know and you do have the two figures in the two of cups but they're not uh it's not the entire you know body it's just the, the hands you know like i said very minimalist and the same with the three of cups and the four of cups i mean that's it that's a like a an image taken from the four of cups in the rider deck and the same with this as well. So, you know, you have this spilled over three cups and the two cups left standing, the flowers in the six, and that, of course, in the seven, the illusions. It's really cute. And I really like that ten of cups. I like the rainbow and the way the card, the, the cups are lined up there. It's really cute. Okay, there's our Page of Cups. And our Knight. Queen and King. Okay, the Pentacles is very much the same. You know, you have a lot of Rider stuff in here. You know, we have the Chapel uh, window. Uh, but you don't have the, uh, you know, the collaborative uh, figures. You know. You have the scales instead of the you know the figure giving alms to the poor. Hammer and chisel. So yeah, I mean it's very interesting. I would be curious to hear what you guys think of this. Uh, if you have any information about in terms of where this is for sale or uh, if you've seen it before, if you know who the artist is, I would really appreciate it if you left that information below. Uh, just for you know whoever else watches the video, it's always really. Uh, helpful and, but I really like this and I will definitely use it I'm going to leave it out and actually do some readings with it test it out and see how it works because uh, <laughs> I'm kind of smitten with it especially for the price I don't know 
it's it's kind of a breath of fresh air to be able to buy a deck for eight dollars and, and actually like it you know i mean how often does that happen so but anyway i have one more deck i want to show you and uh that is the uh moon baby tarot which came to me yesterday it was a kickstarter project that uh you know i totally forgot about you know, back in the day when I would when I first started back and stuff on Kickstarter, I, I followed the project so intently. But nowadays, I just I'll back a Kickstarter deck and I just totally forget about it. And then one day it just shows up, and that's been like you know like that for a, for a really long time. And this just showed up yesterday. It seemed really soon because I feel like I just backed the deck, but and I was happy to see it. You know, uh, Brant Palazzo, uh, so he's Moon Baby here on YouTube. He calls it the Moon Baby Tarot. He has a channel. I'm going to link that below as well as any information with the, the pre-order uh, because I know there's a pre-order underway. And uh, yeah, any information pertinent to this will be in the info box. I'm really happy with the box. Well, first let me show you. I, it came with an altar card, which is really pretty. And it came with a cloth, which I thought was nice. And I think I paid $55 for this, which is kind of going right for, for Kickstarter decks, you know. Because um, I know Kickstarter takes a piece and, you know, I don't think they make that much money on these uh, on Kickstarter. Uh, and I was happy to support Brant because he's a nice guy. Brant is like the resident expert on the Rider deck. You know, he's helped me numerous times uh, find a specific printing or, you know... Uh, Whatever question I had regarding the Rider Pack, he's always been very helpful. And he's somewhat of an expert. So one of his favorite decks is the uh, Hoi Ploi, and uh, he talks about that on the back of the deck. Uh, Hoi Ploi is a tarot deck from the 70s. Uh, it was printed as a children's toy. It was available like, in department stores and so forth, you know. Um, and um, it was very low end, you know, and notoriously blurry printing. I don't own a, a, a copy of the original. I've looked for one, I've considered getting it, but I never liked it enough to pay the prices that people were asking on eBay. Uh, they're always beat up and not in good condition, missing cards, uh, and they're like in the hundreds of, of dollars now. Uh, and I just never got one. So when he announced that he was doing this project, I was kind of excited about it because like, I always wanted one, but I wasn't crazy about it enough to pay the price, but now I can get one and on really decent cardstock. So that's what I was happy about. They're limited. There's only a thousand decks in this first printing. I don't know if he's going to do a second printing, um, but the cardstock is really, really nice. I mean, it's it's very. I would say it's not super fancy, but it's adequate. It's certainly better than something you would buy uh, mass market. And um, the cards have a nice matte feel to them, and uh, the you know the outside of the cards here, the gilding, I guess you can't really call it a gilding. It's more of a pink hue color, but you can see that kind of in the light that there's a pink tone to the deck. These are the backs. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. And very very Rider Waite Smith. I mean, it's you know very close uh, to the Rider deck. It's based. You know, on the artwork of the Rider Waite Smith, it's basically a clone, is what it is. Um, different uh, font and so forth, but you know, what I liked about Brandt's version is that there's a lot of brown faces in it, uh, and that's kind of cool. You know, uh, you know, have that kind of representation uh, in here. I don't know if the original deck was like that or not. Again, uh, I can't remember offhand, but I kind of quite like it in this and. Um, the other thing I really, I, I was trying to remember, the other thing I really like about it is the um, the way the cards are cut. I like the um, the small rounded corners. I think that's really a nice touch, and I wish that more creators would do that, uh, rather than having like the, it just has a much nicer feel to it. That kind of, it's almost square, but it has like a slightly rounded corner. I really like the shape of the card. But it's a very pretty coloring. He recolored it. It's not uh, the original colors. You know, it's it's. Um, he used a palette that was reminiscent of the '70s, and I believe he added his own font. But uh, I actually quite like what he did. A lot of the colors are really cool. 
I think that lover's card looks great. So again, this is in pre-order. If you want to get a copy of it, I definitely would. Hey, uh, another thing I wanted to mention too was, um, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you like you're walking away from me. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was that uh, card 8 and 11, Strength and Justice, there's two of each. So you have a, a Strength card at 8, but you also have one at, uh, for 11. So you have two Strengths and two Justices. Uh, so depending on which whichever system you like, you know, you can you, you can use whichever one you like, basically. Really love the devil. It's a really cool looking devil. Love the green and the tower. Really colored well. I think he did actually a very nice job, and I had to sit with this for a minute because I was like, oh, it's kind of blurry, but the original is very blurry, but now that I've sat with it a while and like looked at the images, I, I really like it, actually. Love that sun. It's not bad, you know? So here's Justice at card 8. And strength at 11. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you the pips. Really beautiful colors. Feels really good. You know, I'm actually very happy with it. I'm glad I got it. And anyway, like I said, I'll leave that information below. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, definitely leave them below. And um, I'd really love to hear from you. And uh, until next time, everybody, love and peace. Bye-bye.